Tell us what uh, you think, that this is a tricky venue here this time. Yeah. You're used to sailing on Geneva, I know, but yeah. I know on the seaboat course it was very tricky this morning. Yeah. So, uh, just what, what uh, what's the reason for all the success? What are the what are the key uh, factors here? Um, we had a lot of different types of conditions, obviously. To speak in generalities, I kind of think that it's just doing a lot of little things better. Honestly, mm -hmm. there's no one trick. Obviously, it's just mm -hmm. doing like a hundred things a little bit better as opposed mm -hmm. to five things differently mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, and uh, it obviously helps to sail on this lake, like you said, just mm -hmm. seeing the breeze and being used to that mm -hmm. and sailing here all mm -hmm. summer helps. Mm -hmm. um, big things though, uh, not getting to an edge in the long run, I thought that kind of worked. Starting in the middle, playing them, never getting too far to one side, where the margin of error was too small in case you had a big shift and mm -hmm. just didn't have any outs. So a lot of people say that when it's lighter, you should go for the edges. Yeah. Um, can you talk a little bit about, you know, why that's not always the case? Yeah. Well, you know, when I did get burned, it obviously was, it was people going to the sides and. Mm -hmm. 60 boat fleets when they're the race course isn't that big you're just gonna always have people going to the sides but i think what happens sometimes is people get these big angles on the side near a shore and you can have a tendency to chase it and say oh look the left is coming in oh the right is coming in in the long run it was never really pers that persistent with one side mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. always being correct so like i said it's just always sort of giving yourself an out you know it, mm -hmm. At the very least, you try to say, okay, they're five boats to the right of me. Maybe it's a big righty. They're going to get me, but the other 50, or else, I'm still gaining on the right a little bit, mm -hmm. but I'm not all the way right. Mm -hmm. Vice versa. Mm -hmm. Okay, boat speed's obviously a big thing in 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 uh, in doing well because yeah. if you're not fast, so yeah. what do you think you guys do that other A and E sailors might learn from to keep their boats going fast? Uh, have to have a good person on the jib that's huge to really ease in these puffs uh, and, and sort of trim the jib to the course of the boat as opposed to trying to steer a lot. So mm. especially when there's chop, it's even more so in an A boat, it's really slow to have to turn the tillers a lot. So sometimes mm. you're better off just very gradually turning up or down and staying on the course, let the main and jib ease to the course you're on mm. and then slowly turn the boat. Mm. And similarly in this light air and chop, air on the side of looser sails and footing mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. And do you, see, do, you, do you see that? Go ahead. Having said that, when, you, when, you, when it's really flat water though and you know you're in the shot, trimming, trimming hard and hiking though and just going dead up wind with it, mm -hmm. that is good too. So it's obviously mm -hmm. balanced. But in general, I think people, you know, waves, light air, being a little softer. And Usually just having people connected to the boat if it's light, being having your lower body connected to the boat and just working your upper body, mm -hmm. whether it's you know slow and in and out or, or hiking. Mm -hmm. Some people aren't stepping in and out of the boat all the time. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the more you minimize people going up and down, mm -hmm. the better. So, smoother. Smoother. So yeah. similarly, yeah. Yeah, having people in the middle of the boat as opposed to one guy to lure, one guy to hop, one guy high. Do you guys practice um, a lot on the E? Um, you know, we sail once a week here and then we do a couple of regattas, so. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have any practice tips you would tell, like do, like, tell we people? We like to do 360s and stuff like that that I think just simulate a lot of things, tacks, jibes, and mark rounding. So mm. I think that's a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. Just uh, practice, practice fouling, practice doing a 360. Simulate if you fouled somebody, how fast you can do a 360. Mm -hmm. Just get drill for the sail trim and the weight placement and angle. Mm -hmm.